Hey, it's Nat with Going Pacific, and today I'm going to take you to three of my hidden gems around Port Vila, Vanuatu. Welcome Long Vanuatu. There's nowhere quite like this country, and today I'm going to show you three hidden gems that I've found during the 12 months that I lived here, and that tourists aren't flocking to. Vanuatu is full of amazing locations with stunning views, crystal clear waters, and lush rainforests. But sometimes, being there with hundreds of your best friends can be a bit much. So, let me show you a few places around the island of Afate that I think are absolutely amazing and you won't have to be fighting the crowds to see. I've also got a very special fourth place at the end of the video, so be sure to stay around for that. Mackenzie and I have lived in Vanuatu for about a year now. And this is definitely my favorite beach on Afate Island. It's about a 15 minute drive south out of Port Vila town and you come to this amazing beach with beautiful white sands, crystal clear views out, and really some decent amenities. They've got change rooms, they've got showers, they've even got a volleyball court if that's what you want to play. So, welcome to Honeymoon Beach, the first of my hidden gems around Port Vila. The pristine white sands and crystal clear waters of Honeymoon Beach are located in the Panga area, just a short drive south out of Port Vila town. You do have to drive on some dirt roads to get here, however, they're generally pretty well graded without too many potholes. Like with most beaches in Vanuatu, someone owns this land, and there's generally a fee to enter the beach. At Honeymoon, the price is 200 vatu for adults and 50 vatu per child. When you arrive, you pay the family member sitting next to the gate and they'll let you through. For the entrance fee, you can stay as long as you like and have access to all the amenities around, like the change rooms, freshwater showers, and the volleyball court. If there's no one waiting at the front gate when you arrive, just honk your horn and be patient and someone will come down from the house to let you in. Once you're through the gates, there's a very large area with ample room for parking and the white sands and beautiful Pacific waters are just steps away. There's plenty of beach for everyone to share, and even if there's a big party here, you'll be able to find your own bit of space without being on top of someone else. And if you're really lucky, you might even get the whole beach all to yourself, which we've had a few times when we've come on a weekday. Besides the crystal clear waters for lulling in, there's also a great little reef you can snorkel on, as well as plenty of opportunities to make friends with the locals. We've even seen turtles in the bay as the sun's heading down, and there's a family of dugongs who live along this area of the coast, so if you're lucky, you might see them too. For all those reasons and more, that's why I think it's one of my hidden gems around Port Vila. Another one of my hidden gems around Port Vila and Afate Island, uh, M Resort and Spa. Uh, I think they're an absolutely amazing place. They opened in March 2024, uh, so they're brand new and they partnered really well with the local village, Mangalilu. Uh, all their staff, I believe, are local villagers uh, and they're really helping to support infrastructure development out here. So definitely, if you get a chance, come out here. Situated on the northwestern side of Afate, nestled between Eratoka and Lalapa Islands, M Resort & Spa is a boutique luxury resort with a massive protected coral reef abundant fish and marine life, and a white sandy beach, all located within perhaps the most culturally significant region of all of Vanuatu, the UNESCO World Heritage listed Roy Mata's Domain. The main focal point of the resort is their signature restaurant on the rocks, which is a nice open space with plenty of seating, and gives you great views out over the water no matter where you sit down. The bar is fully stocked and you can get basically anything from cocktails to coconuts and coffee. The menu is Asian influenced and Pacific inspired and I can definitely say that the food is some of the best I've had anywhere around the island. But I think the best part of the whole place is the amazing reef just out the front. Just steps from the beach, you can swim to your heart's content and snorkel on an amazing protected reef. The marine life here is absolutely great with seemingly millions of tropical fish, a family of turtles that live around the place, and have been told by the owners that they frequently see dolphins, dugongs, and that they've even seen whales swimming up the passage between the islands.
you can come out for a day trip and they don't charge a fee. But make sure you buy some food and drinks to help support the resort. Because of the reef, the amazing food, and the stunning location, I think this place is definitely one of the hidden gems of Port Vila. The next hidden gem is a bit of a ways out of town, but I do think it's definitely worth putting in the effort to get here. Topbrook is perhaps one of the best snorkeling spots on the whole island. It's about an hour out of Port Vila by car, up in North of Parte, uh, but definitely worth the drive. You can see some of the reefs behind me. It's just pristine coral reefs here. This place is definitely on my list of the hidden gems around Port Vila, the Parte Island, Vanuatu. Top Rock is nestled at the end of Summer Village in some relaxing rainforest and it's split into two areas. The lookout at the top of the cliffs with the great views. And the bottom of the cliffs at the ocean where you can go snorkeling. At the time of recording, entry into Top Rock is a thousand vatu per person, which is around 13 Australian and you pay at the booth at the entrance, but there's no time limit and there's toilets, change rooms and even a restaurant at the lookout to grab a drink or a bite to eat. The restaurant's owned by one of the local villages and has a small menu of items you can purchase while you're there, but the real draw card is being able to look out over the oceans to the outer islands of Afate. And the friendly locals here are definitely going to keep you company as well, hey? Hey boy. When you finish looking out over the views, it's time to head down the narrow staircase down the cliffs and dive into the water to do some snorkeling. Unfortunately, when I was filming, it was low tide, which makes it harder to get into the water and limits the snorkeling a little bit due to the way the reef's grown. But even still, I think it's basically the best snorkeling anywhere on a Fate island. As you can see from some of the footage we got there, I think it's definitely worth coming up here and your visit to Port Vila. Another one of my hidden gems around Afate Island in Vanuatu is the beach bar in Melee Cove, uh, especially on a Friday night for their amazing fire show. Uh, I've come down here this afternoon uh, with my family. They've come to visit. I'm going to take you with us show you the place and then show you a little bit of the fire show. All right, see you in there. Every Friday night, the beach bar puts on their fire show, which is the original, best, and only full fire show in town. Before the show starts, it's an awesome chance to grab some food or a drink and watch the sun go down over Melee Cove. I'll share a few clips from the show with you, but I've left a lot out and also had to change the music so I don't get any copyright trouble with YouTube. So. You can still go and experience it all for yourself in person. The show is performed by a team from One Small Bag, a local NGO created to support youths who aren't working or attending school. The performance itself is a mix of choreographed fire dancing with a variety of equipment and it's all done to a mix of contemporary and traditional music. The show is free but donations are very welcome and you won't see this kind of show anywhere else in the Pacific so you can decide how much it's worth. All the donations go directly to support the performers and their families so they can continue to make this amazing show. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.